Hi, it's time for the math. Easy solution. Trying to discuss another hyperbolic uh, functions, right? Hyperbolic trigonometry identity proof. And now look at uh, basically this identity and prove it. Uh, this hyperbolic sine of x plus y equals hyperbolic sine of x times hyperbolic of cos of y plus now the cosh or, or of x uh, cinch of y, I think that's how you call them. Anyways, uh, in my earlier videos I went over hyperbolic functions or derivatives and other identities, so make sure to watch those in the related videos in the video links below. Uh, so to prove this, well, we know the definition of hyperbolic function is basically for sine, uh, for cinch of uh, x right here, this equals 2 uh, e to the x minus e to the negative x. So we're going to use this to prove it. So this is the definition for cinch and then for cosh it's the same thing but it's going to be e to the x plus e to the negative x right here. So to prove this function we could actually plug uh, these values inside the definition. So this right whole right side. So if we write that down we'll have cinch h of x that's going to be e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by 2 so that's on this side here, then multiplied by uh, this one here, but with y, so that's cosh of y, so e to the y plus e to the um, negative y, all divided by 2. And then this is going to be plus, now this is the same thing, cosh, but with an x. So e to the x plus e to the uh, negative x, 2 divided by 2. And now multiply this out by uh, cinch of y. That's this with what with a y, e to the y minus e to the negative y divided by two. So now we just expand these out using the FOIL method. So we'll uh, expand these out. The bottom's obviously going to be two times two is four. So we'll multiply this by this and this by this, and then we add up everything, and then this by this and this. So we'll get e to the x times e to the y. That's going to be e to the x plus y. When you multiply two functions with the same base and different powers, the powers just add. You can see more on this in the power functions properties video I made a while ago in the video links below. So this one here, now we multiply e to the x by e to the negative y, we will get plus e to the x minus y. And now this one here, negative e to the negative x times e to the ne e to the y is going to be a negative because this is a negative e now negative x plus a y and now the last one we're going to have a negative e to the well negative x minus y we could just take the negative out x plus y right here this is the same thing as negative x negative y that's divided by four so now we plus and then a divided by four right here as well for this one now this is going to be, well, this is very similar to this one. So e to the x plus y. That's um, that's basically this multiplied by this. So now we multiply e to the x by e, negative e to the negative y. We'll get negative e to the x minus y. Now this one by this, that's going to be plus e to the negative x plus y and then the last one this by this we'll have a negative e to the negative x plus y right here and the reason that because negative x minus y the same thing we take a negative out negative x plus y so now here we have the same common denominator so we could add everything up so this will be all divided by four but as you can see here e to the x plus y there's another one here, so we can add those up. It's going to be 2 e to the x plus y. e to the x minus y subtracted by e to, the, e to the x minus y. Well, this will just cancel. So we cancel that out. So that'll be 0. So now this part here, negative e to the negative x plus y. There's a positive e to the negative x plus y. So this would cancel out with this. We get 0 on that. Then the last one, negative e to the negative x plus y. And then there's a negative e to the ne negative x plus y. Since they're both negative, we add them up, but negative way. So minus 2 e to the negative x plus y. So as you can see, the 2s, we can take it out and we'll cancel. So we'll be left with, well, we'll cancel with this 4. So we'll have a divided by 2. And then an e to the x plus y minus e to the negative x plus y. 
and this is the exact same thing if we put a bracket here this is the exact same thing as if we this was uh, cinch h of x plus y because remember this is the function for e for uh, hyperbolic sine of x e to the x minus e to negative x divided by 2 but now if this was x plus y just put x plus y x plus y so this is our proof right here so as you see that's the same thing as this right here and there's our proof well anyways that's all for today if we learned from this quick proof of this identity and uh, yeah, thanks for watching remember you can also download these notes in the dropbox link below and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution